Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, September the 23rd. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Our Old Testament reading today is from Nehemiah chapter 9. Now on the 24th day of this month, the people of Israel were assembled with fasting and in sackcloth and with earth on their heads. And the Israelites separated themselves from all foreigners and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord, their God, for a quarter of a day. For another quarter of it they made confession and worshipped the Lord their God. On the stairs of the Levites stood Yeshua, Bani, Kadmiel, Serbania, Bani, Serebia, Bani, and Chiane, and they cried with a loud voice to the Lord their God. Then the Levites said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is in it, and the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them. And the host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord, the God who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans and gave him the name Abraham. You found his heart faithful before you, and made with him the covenant to give you his offspring the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Pezuzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite. And you have kept your promise, for you are righteous. And you saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard their cry at the Red Sea, and performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants and all the people of his land, for you knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers. And you made a name for yourself as it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land, and you cast their pursuers into the depths, as a stone into mighty waters. By a pillar of cloud you led them in the day, and by a pillar of fire in the night, to light for them the way in which they should go. You came down on Mount Sinai, and spoke with them from heaven, and gave them right rules and true laws, and good statutes and commandments. And you made known to them your holy Sabbath, and commanded them commandments and statutes and a law by Moses your servant. You gave them bread for their hunger, and brought water for them out of the rock for their thirst, and you told them to go in to possess the land that you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers acted presumptuously, and stiffened their neck and did not obey your commandments. They refused to obey and were not mindful of the wonders that you performed among them, but they stiffened their neck and appointed a leader to return to their slavery in Egypt. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and did not forsake them. Even when they had made for themselves a golden calf and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt, and had committed great blasphemies, you and your great mercies did not forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud to lead them in the way did not depart from them by day, nor the pillar of fire by night, to light for them the way by which they should go. You gave your good spirit to instruct them, and did not withhold your manna from their mouth, and gave them water for their thirst. Forty years you sustained them in the wilderness, and they lacked nothing. 
Their clothes did not wear out and their feet did not swell. Our writing this morning is a writing of St. Benedict of Nursia from the Holy Rule of St. Benedict. St. Benedict uh, is the church father who uh, started the Benedictine order of monks. As you know, Luther was in the Augustinian. Uh, his order was started by St. Augustine. So Benedict of Nursia uh, lived from approximately March the 2nd, 480 AD to 21 March, 543 AD. And he is venerated in just about every Christian of faith throughout the world. He founded 12 communities for monks at Subiaco, Lazio, Italy, uh, which is about 40 miles from Rome. And then he moved to Monte Cassino in the mountains of Southern Italy. And the Order of St. Benedict came a few years later. His main achievement is this writing we're gonna hear a part of today called the Rule of St. Benedict, uh, which contains a set of rules for his monks to follow. And he writes, We believe that God is present everywhere and that the eyes of the Lord behold the good and the bad in every place. See Proverbs 15.3. Let us firmly believe this, especially when we take part in the divine service. Let us therefore always be mindful of what the prophet says, serve the Lord with fear, Psalm 2.11, and again, sing wisely, Psalm 46.8. Uh, that would be 47, 7 in our Bibles. And I will sing praise to you in the sight of the angels, Psalm 138, 1. Therefore, let us consider how it benefits us to behave in the sight of God and his angels, and let us then stand to sing that our minds may be in harmony with our voices. If we do not dare to approach men who are in power except with humility and reverence when we wish to ask a favor, how much must we make requests of the Lord of God of all things with all humidity and purity of devotion. And let us be assured that it is not in many words, but it is by hearts declared pure and with repentant tears that we are heard. For this reason, prayer ought to be short and pure, unless perhaps it is lengthened by the inspiration of divine grace. When we pray together in the divine service, however, let the prayer always be short. Did you catch that? Our prayer in the church should be shorter. <laughs> We join together now in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us, spare all the dying. From all sin, from all evil, from the devil's might, from the devil's wiles, from your wrath and from hell's torment, from sudden and evil death, good Lord, deliver them. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help them, good Lord. In the hour of death, on the day of judgment, help them, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, good Lord, to comfort all the dying, to forgive them all their sins, to lead them out of this misery into eternal life. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. 
Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Lord of all power and might, author and giver of all good things, graft into our hearts the love of your name. Increase in us true religion. Nourish us with all goodness and of your great mercy. Keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.